Okay, this is the uh, first time I've seen Carlos for over seven months. And as you can see here, we're seeing a lot of improvement already at seven months. And typically we tell patients that a, a hair transplant is not fully grown in until about 12 to 18 months to evaluate the full result. And already, I think Carlos has had a tremendous amount of growth. It has changed everything completely. And you know, for him right now, um, I would say that we've achieved a lot of his objective. And I'm going to go over that based on what we talked about before. But if you take a look here, he's already grown a lot of hair, and typically it's about a centimeter a month. And if you can measure, you know, the hair growth here, and if I measure with the ruler, it's actually really almost about six, six and a half, but there is some delay. So you've actually grown very well, okay, in yeah. seven months, okay? Now you can see here, if you can, if you can zoom in here, turn your head this way, you can see what we've done with Carlos, okay? Can you see this here? Okay. And I'm going to show you in a mirror too, Carlos, so you can clearly see, because hopefully you may or may not remember. Mm -hmm. But what we've done, we've, we've basically done that for you. Yes. Okay, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Your hairline used to be way out here. Yeah. And, you know, zoom in on this photo right here. Okay. This photo. Can you see that photo right there? Okay. All right. This is what Carlos used to look like. So his hairline was further back and way up here and let me just show you in the mirror so you can see yeah i was like seeing yeah. the mirror and wow, okay so you can see difference. the difference yeah. already okay you're you're you don't even have that hairline anymore and that was the objective that we talked about you had this kind of you know rounded head yeah. okay that, that went out like that and i said to get a very nice natural look we'd have to kind of bring it down and curve it around and to really bring it because just filling in this area up here wasn't really going to do the trick because of the characteristics of his you know head we had to really kind of round it out a little bit you know nicer which we've done here and you can see it looks very natural okay so if you've had if you've had fat head like i do then you have to make some adjustments now some people might say you're a fat head or yes. a big head or something well like they that. do and it's but, com you just confirmed it yes uh, now, now we've confirmed <laughs> Thank you. It, but, but they're not going to be able to say that anymore because yeah. the, the hair has really kind of just broadened it okay? right but um really what we what you can see nicely here is is this whole area here is already filled in okay all of this is all new growth right there and if you take a close look at the hairline I don't know if you can focus you know clearly in here okay you can see that the hairline is composed of very natural single hairs and two hairs can you see that zoom in as close as you can yeah we'll zoom in yeah okay, okay. tilt your head down Carlos okay all right any questions so right here what you can see is a lot of single hairs and two hairs, very nice and natural if you turn this way like that, okay? Same thing here and the same thing on the other side, okay? And you can zoom out a little bit, okay? And if you take a look at Carlos from the other side, okay, where you used to be, okay, this is, his hairline used to be way up here and way back here. And now we've actually rounded it out to a very nice, you know, natural look. And even if he didn't grow any hair after this procedure, I think, you know, it's changed and it's met the objective that we, we first talked about was to kind of fill in that big gap, okay? Yeah. And taking a look at the mirror, okay, take a look at the mirror. And when you look at the before and after, okay, how, how do you think, how do you feel about your hair right now? Yeah, you know, I, it makes a big difference. And, you know, when you're growing this gradually, you don't realize, you don't really realize how you look before and this shows it you know this definitely shows it so there's i mean a lot of growth and, you know and, and like you say there's still more growth to okay. come right people who knew you before and see you now what have they commented about you you know what they say they say you lost a lot of weight yeah, that's, and, yeah. and the funny thing is i had lost the weight because i was fat a couple of years ago like a year and a half ago so okay. i had lost weight when i came in here for the procedure but mm -hmm. they can't really place it they're like yeah you've been working now yeah, you've lost some weight. Yeah. And, you know, I've, I've maintained the weight that I lost. Yeah. But they, they can't really place it. Well, most most patients do tell me something similar to that. And actually, that's the sign of a good hair transplant. Yeah. Nobody should really be looking at your head saying, wow, that's a beautiful hair transplant. Right. Dr. Mejia did a great job. If they say I did a great job looking at your hair, yeah. that's a little bit of an insult because they can tell that I did a hair transplant. Now, yeah. obviously, they know because you're blogging about it. But, yeah. you know, for the average person that has this privately or secretly, Nobody should know that you've had a hair transplant. Yeah. And when you look at your hair close up on an inspection, you know, if you pe pe meet people for the first time, they would probably not 
thing twice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're probably if you told them you had a hair transplant, plan, they probably wouldn't believe you. So, anyways, uh, as 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 we can see, what we what we have done with Carlos is to really transform his hairline to a new, more youthful hairline. His hairline, because of the shape of his head, used to be way out here. And this, we actually restored the temples. We brought the temples forward and we brought this down. But his hairline used to be way out here and back, you know, back in this area here. And the same thing on the other side. If you can turn this way. So you can see here, we brought this, this hairline, which used to go backwards, and that happens with aging, is that the temporal hairline recedes backwards. We actually brought it forward, matches him nicely. It's nicely integrated there with single hairs in the frontal hairline for a very natural quality result. Now on the back, if you turn over that way, turn your head that way, and I'll have Kristen come over here and film. You know, if you try to find the scar, it is very difficult to find. And many pe people fear a strip surgery because of a potential scar. And although there is one here, it is a microscopic and invisible. Any procedure, whether follicular unit extraction, you are cutting through the skin, you are gonna leave a little white dot there with follicular unit extraction. Here it's a line white spot or a white line, but it's very difficult to see. And we do do a trichophytic closure where we get hairs to grow through the scars and it's done so beautifully in this look where you can't even really find the scar. And it's even a challenge for me to find it because it's masked so well. And that is the beauty, beauty of an excellent uh, hair transplant result is not being able to clearly see a scar. And no matter where we look on this side, the scar is very well uh, hidden and you know hardly seen. There is a little remnant of a little white line there that's masked by all the hairs, which for the average person, they wouldn't even notice there was anything there. And many people call these invisible, which is fine because you don't even see it. And I think, Carlos, you had mentioned your hairstylist couldn't even find a scar, correct? Yes, and that was a few months ago when there was actually some remnants of the scar around. over here. But now that's all gone. It used to be, a, you could see some here. This disappeared quickly, yeah. this part of the scar here. Yeah. Because I could feel it. You know, I used to, after the, the surgery, I was able to feel it. You can feel the stitches where they started falling off. Well, you took them off. And I could feel there was a scab here for a few months, right here on this side. I think that's where you started cutting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because the rest of it went pretty, went away quickly. But this is gone. Now, this is gone, and this is seven months later. And, and I guess if I try, I can feel a little bump there, but not really. You know, it, it's gone. I mean, it, it's and, and some gone. of those initial bumps are the hairs growing through yeah. the scar. And mm -hmm. they do create like a little, you know, pimple or a little folliculitis as it's emerging through the scalp right the pimple the, the pimple is one thing after yeah. the first few months i would get yeah and, and i remember at one point you know i had something here some kind of felt like some kind of growth and i was kind of wondering what, what was going on but then that it, was it, a it, hair follicle growing through the then a few days later like, it was gone and yeah. you know it was important to wash the hair like you recommend is wash the hair and very vigorously down here and you know and, and it's just really amazing you know, yeah you know. So what I'm going to do here is just show you the before and after photo. So I'm going to have Kristen hold this here, or you can actually hold it there for me. Yeah, you can turn around. And you can see, you know, just you know, what doesn't matter which direction he combs his hair, it's going to look very natural because it's your own normal hair. see the before photo here of the right side if you turn your head to the right a little bit okay actually raise that up a little bit you can see that there okay. you can see that so here we have Carlos before and after okay look like you're doing a mug shot yeah I mean I'm pretty used to this already okay and here's his before of the left side of the scalp. Turn your head to the left and sure. down. No, the other side. The other way. There we go. Okay. All right. And that's his before. And if you look at his transformation now, that's him now. Okay. And put your head down and straight. Okay. This is his before. You know, down and straight. Here's the before, before, and then after. Now. 
Yeah. And we got to stress that there's been seven months, so there is going to be more growth. You know, people like you're saying it's going to take another few months to get the full growth, uh, right? That's correct. You know, at seven months, we, you know, you're still not even at full growth, so you still got a lot of hair growth left to go. Okay, so you can see the difference. Now put your head down. You can see the difference from the from the before, and right now at seven months, and we still got more to go. And if you turn your head to the right, that side, you can see how his hair was, you know, before, like that, and you can see how wide his scalp was, you know, in this area here. Okay, and then now as you look forward to him, it's kind of blended in very, you know, naturally. And from a so there has view, been growth here in the front too. Is yeah. that correct? That's exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's all there. And then in the middle, you know, right there, put your head towards me, okay, to the front, you can see how you don't see those wide angles, you know, as much. And you can see here in this photograph, if you look here, how his scalp and tended to bulge outwards, and that was one of the concerns that Carlos had, was trying to soften this bulge of the scalp as it comes over. The fat head. Yeah, the fat head, and th that's what gave you the illusion of the fat head is that you had your scalp, you know, here with no hair there. And then what we've been able to do is really get rid of that, and you can see it's pretty much gone. You don't see that bald scalp anymore, you know, kind of going across, and the hair just, you know, blends in very nicely. So he doesn't have that fat head anymore. You know, he's got that narrow, you know, look, that more youthful look, which is what he was looking for. Now, now what can I expect over the next seven months, say? Well, over the next seven, seven months, you can probably expect a little bit more growth. Hold on a second here. Okay. So over the next seven months, what we expect to see here, so we've really changed everything. So now the architecture has already been set. And what we want to see now is just a little bit more hair growth coming through, possibly a lot more density than what you have now. So hopefully it'll get even more thicker. You'll be happier. And really, that's about it. Yeah. And most patients, after one surgery... They're very happy with the result. It's perfect, you know, and they're done. There are many people that decide that, you know, they want to make it as thick as possible, and they might do another procedure just to get, you know, more density, okay, and make it as thick as possible. Yeah. But for now, I think it's a great success. You're happy, yeah. I'm happy, and we still got more hair to come. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. And as I was saying earlier, people are coming up to me, and they go, well, you know, you lost a lot of weight, haven't you? And, and I have, but I actually lost the weight before I even went through the transplant. I just maintained the weight, but they see me, they have seen me before the transplant, and they mentioned I lost weight, but they think I've lost more weight. And they told me this the other day, like, this is the skinniest I've ever seen you. And I was thinking to myself, we actually gained five pounds from the last time you saw me. I'm still, you know, trying to get that, 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 that perfect weight for me, you know, but, but yeah, they, they, so they can't really tell is the hair, you know, and what you were saying earlier, that's a sign of a good transplant.